Well, a few years ago, I visited Berlin in winter when it was under two feet of snow, one of the harshest winters for many years. And I went to see the Holocaust Memorial in Potsdamer Place. It's huge, and there are these black monoliths snaking over the ground, and they were separated by snow drifts that turned the landscape monochrome and, and threw these amazing grey patterned shadows between the dark upright slabs. I took loads of photos and I made some sketches. Uh, not many because it was minus 20. I think it was the coldest I've ever been. When I got home, those images really haunted me. I grew up hearing about the Holocaust from older relatives. They'd lived through World War II. Many of them had served in World War II and one of my uncles actually witnessed the horrors of one of the concentration camps and that really affected me so I decided to do some drawings originally uh, working from my photos and from there I decided to cut images into blocks of vinyl and to make a series of prints. It's called the reduction technique in printmaking circles we often call it the suicide method because it ends up with a complete destruction of the printing block and I made a series of reduction uh, prints using vinyl and lino uh, in three colours black white and grey which was very accurate uh, it followed the the imagery that I saw in Berlin that winter I did some of the drawings in the Manier Noir technique. Manier Noir is a French phrase that means in the dark manner. And in English, it's often called the reduction drawing technique. And instead of working on white paper with a, a dark drawing material like pencil or charcoal, what you do is you cover a sheet of paper with charcoal, make it really black, and then you remove the charcoal with things like fine wire wool, um, very fine sandpaper and rubbers. So what you're doing is you're bringing out the highlights and the pale grey tones from the darkness. And I like that way of bringing light out of darkness seemed very much in keeping with the Holocaust Memorial. 